I just want to give a few reminders about using Infinite Campus's Message Center. It can be a great way to communicate with parents and students uh, because their information has already been put into Infinite Campus and that way you're using accurate information. Um, to get to the Message Center, if you're using the new version of the Infinite Campus, remember go up to the notifications bell and you get to the Message Center that way. Otherwise, if you're using the older version, it will be on your menu on the left. Um, once I go to the Message Center, I clicked on New, and that gave me a new class message. And basically, it's going to walk you through step-by-step step to do a class message. Um, I'm going to simply scroll down here. For delivery details, a couple things to notice. Please check, keep inbox and email both checked. Um, most parents will have an email in there, but some may only have an inbox, which means they can only check it through Infinite Campus's inbox. Um, which day would you like it delivered? What inbox or email delivery time? Um, when it says reply to email here, um, you can go in. Originally, this was campus, and you can change it to your email. So if somebody is receiving this through their email, they can respond back to you through email. If they're only getting messages through inbox, they would not be able to reply back to that email because it's in the Infinite Campus inbox. Um, go down here for message details. You do need to put a message in there and I entitled this uh, use a link message not an attachment and I'll preface that right now. Um, notice it says add email attachment. If you're going to add like a PDF or some sort of attachment on here people that are getting email are the only ones that are going to be able to see that attachment. So I suggest if there is something that you need to have additional, instead of doing an email attachment, that you would add a link. Um, let's say you had a PDF that you wanted to add to uh, your message here. Um, my best suggestion is you are going to go to your Google Drive, and I have uh, a PDF that I just created. When you're in your Google Drive, you're going to do New and you do File Upload, and you will need to select that PDF and basically add it to your Google Drive. Notice right now it's added in here. What you're going to ne need to do next is right click when you're on it and do the Share, and go to Advanced. And right now, I'm the only one who can see this PDF because by sharing it through the link. So I need to change this to anyone with the link. So when I change that private field to anyone with the link, I'm going to save that and make sure they can view it. And then I'm going to copy this URL right here. That is the shared link from my Google Drive. I go back to my Message Center. And here is my um, PDF on the Message Center. And what I can do is I can select that, go to the Link button, and insert link. Notice it took that text that I selected. I would paste this here and click on Insert. And now notice it changed the blue color. I now have that hyperlinked. If I were to click on it right now, you know, basically it's not going to work. I, oh, did you see there, it did show me I have a link here and I can edit or I can unlink it. Um, I could send myself a test email. And you can check and make sure that it shows up the way that you want it. And these are just a few reminders of how to use the class message and save yourself some time when sending messages to students and to parents.